All right, guys, here you have it. Project Suzuki LT250R Quad Racer. Looking uh, a little more bare bones right now. This is part of the process. Oh, not the phone. Um, you know, it's taking off all the plastics to get a better look at everything. Really, really loving the ATV quad stand I got for the project. Really, really making my life a lot easier. Making some really good progress on the axle here. Looking pretty fresh. Still got some more time to spend on it. But looks a lot better than that. And this one was the better looking one of the two. So really, really excited with the progress. Took the boot off the damn airbox and had a bunch of crap just fall out. A bunch of taking the boot out. They have a new airbox and we're like we're gonna be cleaning all that system out anyway. But yeah, pretty crazy how much stuff was just sitting in that airbox. But you know, nineteen ninety two. It's been a long time since then. And you get a better look at the FMF pipe. Uh, I'm going to have to uh, wrap it around this area at least. Because right here, it's, it's melting the plastics. We got some fresh plastics that we're going to be throwing on. And we definitely don't want them melting like it happened with the ones that were on there. This tank, I'm... It might be in good shape. It looks a little rough. It's definitely the stock one. I'm going to take a look at it inside. If it looks like it's in good shape, I'm just going to clean it up the best I can and add a fuel filter just to make sure we don't have anything kind of come off the walls. I have no clue how long it has been sitting or what, you know, condition it's in. But Also, so we are actually going to leave the stock arms on for this season at least i am only going to be changing the bushings and all the replaceable parts in there um these white brother shocks this company went out of business um they were bought out by i'll put it up I'll write it down down on the video here somewhere. I forgot the name. I found it. I think they're in Europe, but I'm not sure where I could get those worked on. I'd have to look. I have a place, Black Dog Suspension, which is awesome out in Rochester, that they do mountain bikes and uh, suspensions. They've done suspensions on uh, a few of my older bikes that people thought that, you know, people thought couldn't be worked on, and they did an excellent job on them. Unfortunately, when I asked about ATVs, they said they don't they don't work on ATV shocks. So I'll have to look at who the who the guys are on the East Coast for that kind of stuff. And uh, yeah, that's pretty much it. We're gonna spend some more some more time on the axle just to get it really nice and cleaned out, and we're gonna finish this side. We were able to get the tools we needed to break the wheels because they were probably been on there for a little while and uh, they're 14s so just to get some to get the breaker bar to fit the 14 we didn't have it for some reason but yeah we got all that figured out I'll be taking them off and working on that and yeah we'll keep you guys posted <laughs> 